Hello, in this video I will talk about the user interface of Pixaflocks. This is the viewport. This is where the images, gizmos and the node graph are displayed. This is the control panel. Here is where you edit the attributes and data of the nodes. This is the nodes toolbar. Clicking on a node group expands a panel with the available nodes. Nodes can be dragged from this panel into the viewport. This is the top toolbar. Here we have the node graph buttons, the new save and load project buttons, the undo and redo buttons and the zoom buttons. This is the top menu. Let's create a reader node from the nodes toolbar, dragging it into the main viewport. The reader node is now the active node. The active node has a green background. The attributes panel of the active node is displayed in the control panel. Let's open a bitmap in the rear node attributes panel. The bitmap file is converted into an image by the rear node and displayed in the viewport because the rear node is also the display node. The display node has a thick red margin. Let's add a new flip node to the graph. The top section of the node displays the node name and the bottom section displays the sockets. To the left we have the input sockets, and to the right the output sockets. The graph flows from left to right. To connect two nodes, drag a line from the output socket of one node to the input socket of another node. Click a node to select it. Selected nodes have a white margin, and unselected nodes have a black margin. To clear the selection, click on the background. To select multiple nodes, drag a marquee around them. The selected nodes can be moved by dragging any selected node. Double click a node to set it as the active node. Now we can change the attributes of the flipped node. The display image is not updated because the reader node is still the display node. To set the flip node as the display node, select it and press the D key. Now the display image gets updated when I change an attribute of the flip node. Thank you for watching.